Hey, I wanted to get this video up on uh, my YouTube and some social channels, and we'll also be sending it to a database of uh, clients and for folks that, uh, that we've got uh, their emails. So what's going on in the world? Uh, you know, I'll tell you, uh, you know, we did get a little bit drunk with interest rates and the Fed was definitely helping us when it uh, came to the money that applied into the economy with uh, st the stimulus and uh, buying mortgage-backed securities. And as a result, as the Feds had to uh, attempt to bring down inflation, they've been raising uh, the overnight interest rate. And I heard something interesting where um, car manufacturers and car lenders are now pushing 84-month financing uh, again because they're finding that uh, even affordability on, on getting a car uh, can be difficult. So I get it. We're all feeling uh, that pinch and feeling the pinch at the, at the pump. Um, I drive an SUV that I really don't want to get rid of because uh, I really love it. It's big. I can fit a ton of stuff in it, uh, but I feel it anytime, uh, anytime I'm gassing, uh, gassing it up. Um, the one thing, though, that I'm definitely not feeling that's a little bit ranty, and this video will be a little bit choppy because uh, I won't have uh, my video guy helping me out. I don't have all the skills in, in doing that myself, or, or maybe I have the patience to figure it out, is just the amount of negativity and what's going on uh, in the market. When there's a lot of negativity, it's usually sometimes the best times to buy. You know, if I think back to 08, 09, uh, when we were hearing about the crash and how real estate was just so horrible, talk to anyone that bought in 08, 09. They're probably really happy that they bought then. Um, now, you may not be really happy about what the interest rate is, um, but the cycles, the data shows that a lot of times as inflation's going on and as they get it under control, there's a good chance or a high likelihood uh, that, that interest rates uh, can go down. So I, I can attest to this. If you're in our client family, believe me, we'll be all over you to uh, let you know if that, if that opportunity arises. Um, there is a segment of buyers that maybe can't afford your home if you're a seller uh, that's thinking about selling right now. There's going to be a shift. Do we know exactly what it's going to be? No, uh, but I can definitely say this emphatically. If you are thinking of selling, uh, this could be one of the most ideal times uh, to do so. And I know that a lot of times people are going to say, well, where do I go? Well, you know what? Maybe you got to look at, okay, is there a friend or a family member or somebody that we can move, move in with? Uh, because the opportunity could be knocking and it could be there that this could be the best uh, time to sell. For all the naysayers that are pointing out that there's going to be a crash, it's not looking like it's gonna be a crash at all. There are better credit standards uh, for getting mortgages. Back in 02, 03, 04, there were a lot of those loans that, you know, it was, hey, can I check your pulse? Oh, you seem good, we'll give you money. Oh, you, you just really, really seem like you can afford this. The lending standards have gotten a lot more prohibitive, uh, a lot more strict. You gotta to qualify to get a mortgage. There's also a supply issue. So, um, I think average is, you know, when we get into maybe an oversupply market and realtors, you can correct me on this, is six months or more of inventory. Uh, back in the crash, I'm going to look at uh, some data. Um, back in 2007, there was 8.9 months uh, of average inventory around the country. Uh, in 2008, there was 10.8 uh, months. Now, if we look at 2019, there was 4.3 months of inventory. 2020, 4.6 months, 2021, two and a half months. We're at 2022, and I don't know, uh, this is uh, up to May of 2022, 2 2.6 months of inventory. There's a supply issue. That's what's going on with inflation as well. They've got too many dollars chasing after the same thing. Now, is the Fed's raising the overnight rate, which is affecting short-term rates, affecting what banks uh, can uh, borrow, borrow money at? car loans. You're going to see that borrowing those type of things are going to be more. Um, and with the Fed tapering off on buying, on buying mortgage-backed securities, that for certain uh, has affected us. But when it comes to real estate, when it comes to buying a home, it's still one of the best investments uh, that you can make. You may not see 
those huge increases or those huge values jumps? Maybe not, but I'll tell you what, in 10 years, in 15 years, 20, 30, 40, however long you're there, you've got an asset. You've got something uh, that you can sell. So if you're, if you're on the fence and you're thinking about buying, well, maybe you need to be creative. Maybe what you need to do is, do you buy it with a family member? Do you buy it with a, with a friend? Do you look at a multifamily as opposed, to, as opposed to a single family? Do you expand your net? Are you not tethered to, uh, to your office? Can you look at, at other states? Currently, our company, we're in all 50 states. I'm in, I think, 18 or 19 uh, and counting. So um, we've got the ways to help you. We know the market. Um, rambly, I told you it'd be rambly, um, but I had to get this out there today. Just been so irritated uh, about uh, what I'm hearing about there's gonna be a crash and so-and-so's friend said this and so-and-so's friend said that. And when we look at the data, you know, like data, math, things don't lie. You know, when you look at it and you look at it reasonably and logically, it doesn't look like it's, it's gonna happen. So, hey, I'd love to see a comment, like, subscribe, share, trying to get to 500 subscribers. Uh, by the end of the year, we shall see. And uh, for those of you that are getting this from uh, the email drop to uh, the database, if we haven't connected in a while, it'd be great to uh, say hello. I know there's been some uh, good fun stuff uh, that I've heard of lately with uh, some people that we've worked with. So um, thank you. Make it a great day.